Impact Plus. Experience Impact Wrestling like never before. TNA Wrestling's Monsters Ball. Hardcore. No disqualifications. A banquet of blood. It was formulated to induce extreme feelings of aggression in its competitors. Fighting tooth and nail, many have danced in this ball. Now, for the first time ever, the TNA Knockouts will compete in the Monsters Ball. That's my match. Yes, it is. I want you to transfer your aggression to Daphne. I need for you to be in her corner. Two women, Taylor Wilde, tenacious, conditioned with the heart of a champion. Daphne, <laughs> unstable, psychotic, walking the razor's edge. There won't be a fairy tale ending. Taylor Wilde faces Daphne with Abyss in her corner in the first ever TNA Knockouts Monsters Ball. You have to see it in another person before you can deal with it yourself, Mike today. Jovian? I'll tell you about it later. at ringside, Dr. Stevie as well, but you really think Taylor Wilde, the ex-knockout champion, fits this kind of a match? I'll tell you one thing, though, about Taylor Wilde, and, and yeah, you look at her, and you, and you see that pretty face, and, and you think, why would she want to be a part of this? Because you know Daphne. I mean, you could just take one look at her and know that she loves the violence. She wants to inflict the physical pain. But when you think about how Taylor Wilde came in and the whole awesome Kong thing, she's able to take the punishment. There's no doubt about that. But the bottom line is, this is a different kind of punishment. It's a psychological punishment. I mean, it's getting hit with everything but the kitchen sink. And in this case, it could be the kitchen sink. And I'll tell you what, it can change things. And, and it'll change you mentally for the rest of your life. Object of this match, pretty much the same as any other in wrestling. Get that pin. But then when you take into account that it's no disqualification, that it's anything goes, and that the usage of weapons is encouraged, that's what separates it from a normal match, and then factor in the TNA knockouts. I'll tell you one thing though you can see there is Taylor, as she's dumping the weapons in, and she's think, thinking she's setting them up for herself. All she's actually doing is giving Daphne the weapons to start the match with. You saw her take the D to her side, use it to her advantage, and that's it's like I said, it's a mindset. I mean, you've just got to put yourself in a in a survival of the fittest mode, that no matter what you've got to do, you are willing to do, no matter what kind of pain it's going to cause, you're willing to take it to win a match like this. Daphne in control ever since Taylor took that time to toss the weapons in. That's the door that was open, and Taylor is driven into the corner by Daphne. This is all an effort to weaken her so that, that she can set her up for the potential usage of some of these weapons like the hockey stick, the trash can lid, the trash can, the crutch, everything else that's out here. I'll tell you what I'm watching is I'm watching the, the body movement of the Monster Abyss as he's just looking on, and Dr. Stevie realizing what he's doing. I mean, Abyss needs to see this. Abyss needs to see what this aggression can do and what all these these weapons can do to somebody. If he's going to get himself mentally right, you see Dr. Stevie there giving the, the perfect instructions to Daphne, leading her on, and 
I'll tell you what, I think it's the best therapy that a bitch has ever had. Daphne screams as she comes right at Taylor, catches her with a forearm in the corner. Taylor holds onto that top rope so that she's not able to be tossed across, and then gets both of those boots right up into the face of Daphne, float over by Taylor Wilde, and takes Daphne right by the head and throws her right into the trash can. I'll tell you what, I, I, I've talked about it before, Mike, today, and how Daphne reminds me so much of my first wife and how no matter what's in the kitchen, she's willing to use it to knock you over the head with. Well, that time, the woman that reminds you of your, did you say your first ex-wife? <laughs> first of many. I'm guessing so, gets caught with a series of weapons and leads to the trash can being put on her head. And Taylor Wilde I using the hockey stick with several shots to the trash can and then the big kick. I hope Abyss is watching and learning from this and realizing what can be done. The bottom line is now is if you wonder what kind of a position so no, no, let, let, me, let me get this right. Abyss is learning to see what's, what's done when Dr. Stevie is trying to wean him off of weapons. Mike, I, I'm telling you if, you, if you don't realize what the therapy that's going on right now, yeah, I know. We the, need to yeah, talk the, about the, it yeah, at another time. Right now, we need to call the Jovian this. theory. Well, he's a doctor that nobody else knows about, but a very select few of psychiatrists. So for those of you at home looking it up, you're not going to find it if you Google it. It's only there for those that have studied psychiatry for, for years and years. Wow. Daphne taken from the shoulders, tossed right on top of the trash can. And referee Hefner counts three. Here is your winner, two the win in the first ever knockouts monster. No, what, what's this? Oh, there's words going on right now between Dr. Stevie and Taylor Wilde. And well, Dr. Stevie obviously not happy. Things oh. didn't go his way here with, with Daphne. And now Daphne, even after the three count, Daphne's not done. No, look at this. Well, this is all part of the therapy for Abyss, as you can see. And you can see Dr. Stevie rolling up the sleeves. Time to get to work here. Oh, it's going to be a hands-on experience when it comes to this transfer of aggression, right? Absolutely, and now, wait a minute. He's telling her, no, don't do that. That's not what it's all about. And I mean, we established back at lockdown in Philadelphia that Dr. Stevie is wrestler Stevie Richards, and he's in the ring now, but Again. And he's telling Daphne, is he telling her not? Oh, no, absolutely I thought it was no. just going to be don't use the weapons, but it was don't use that particular weapon. Well, how is the bitch going to learn if he doesn't see the weapon that he brings to the ring put in action and the damage that it can cause? How is the bitch going to learn anything? This is what it was all about. The thousands. Taylor Wilde's getting ready to go with the Being spread across the ring by Dr. Stevie. Look Daphne's at that. got Taylor Wilde. And Wait a minute, did he say don't? No, he's called Abyss in. This is the only way that, oh, I he, see. that he can learn from this whole situation. Come on. It's the only way. He's got to do it himself, and it's going to be hard. And I know it's tough when you're when you're talking about a situation like a, putting a Taylor Wilde through it, but if he can get through this, he'll be able to get through anything. And Dr. Stevie insisting and, and judging by his reactions here and actions, I think he's telling Abyss that he, oh, and then he slaps it. He, wa he wants Abyss to choke slam absolutely. Taylor Wilde into the tax. Oh, absolutely. Well, of course. Well, I mean, that's, it, it, it's, it's tough therapy. I know that. It's, yeah. it's not something that a lot of people can understand, but he's got to do it now. Abyss is going to have to face the wrath of Dr. Stevie. You see him get the belt in his hand. Dr. Stevie using the intimidation tactics of the belt against the monster abyss. And you, you can you can tell even through the mask that Abyss is having second thoughts about this as well as he should. Oh, wait, here comes got... our broadcast colleague Lauren down here. Whoa, no, come on, Abyss. This is this is Taylor Wilde's sorority sister. They have a long history, Sorry. Lauren. And also keep in mind that Lauren, well, Abyss considers Lauren his girlfriend. Well, I'll tell you what, this is not a place for her right now. This is she's not helping them out. Oh, come on. Well, I, 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 I don't face. agree with that. But you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. I don't agree with all of his methods. Yeah, I, I know. You. Tough love, tough love. Uh, but the bottom line is, it's for a bitch's own good. Oh, and Dr. Stevie threatens Lauren with the belt that he just whipped Abyss with. And well, Abyss has taken, oh, Abyss is now taking Dr. Stevie up all right into the tax. Now oh, no. that, that is a transfer of aggression. Well, I just sent the therapy back a whole nother six months. Look at
break it down and start all over. He was so close. Lauren came in and Lauren able to save Taylor Wilde, but Dr. Stevie, well, the blood is yeah. flowing. You can see the red through the, the shirt. Through the back of that white shirt, courtesy of those thumbtacks. Ladies and gentlemen, before we hear from Jeff Jarrett, check out this video package on the TNA Founder.